Uh, a very good afternoon to you and welcome to the Fixed Wing Guy channel with me, Stuart Lomas. I hope I find you well on this um, lovely day, actually, here in Manchester. Really nice. Um, been away for a couple of days, you know the reason why. Let's just take that for red and let's move along. Um, in the last couple of days, um, I've got a number of emails through and one of them uh, was really to get my uh, opinion on a particular watch. And coincidentally, it happens to be a watch I've looked at, and indeed uh, may look at uh, yet again. Um, this is for a gentleman called Tony. Um, hopefully uh, you are watching this, Tony. I will have replied to you via email, um, uh, but I uh, decided to put this up today as I pulled myself together enough to do it. Um, Tony was talking about a brand... Uh, which he found uh, attractive to him, I find attractive to me, um, but it's tended not to talk about. Uh, and I don't really know kind of why that is. Um, the brand in question is Raymond Weil, or Weil, or however you want to pronounce it. But um, I, I tend to go for the V pronunciation of the W. Um, Raymond Weil, I can only speculate, is, is not uh, talked about, or if it is talked about, it's talked about in hushed tones, um, because it's so young um, in kind of watchmaking terms. Um, it only uh, was set up by uh, Raymond Weil in 1976, so actually it's a, a, a real newcomer to the party as far as watchmaking is concerned as we're all aware you know there's watch brands out there that, that have been around since 1876 never mind 1976 um but the reason i kind of like raymond vial is they kind of cover the whole gamut of every kind of watch you could possibly want but having said that all the watches are kind of conservative and everyday wearable. Um, give you a little kind of uh, a bit of a, a background. Uh, Raymond Vial, and I, again, I can only assume because they're young, are, if not the only, certainly one of a very few only family owned and run watch companies left. Um, now, I'm talking about kind of the respected end of watchmaking, either, you know, Swiss, that kind of thing. I know there may well be a few family owned units in maybe the Far East uh, and, and other small boutique brands, uh, like I talked about in my boutique brand video. Um, where it's gone from 1976, when, when Raymond Vial um, passed the baton along, uh, it first kind of went to uh, his son, and then it went to his grand. to move Raymond Vial as a brand along a little bit from what perhaps he considers to be the more stodgy set ways of the watch industry. Um, I also think that Raymond Vial are not talked about because um, they do tend to appear in quite a lot of jewellers. You know, they, they are not seen to be uh, exclusive. Um, they seem to be kind of more ten a penny uh, jewelers to be a uh, an authorised dealer for Raymond Vial as such is not such uh, an achievement as it is for you know um, Rolex or, or a Patek or something like that. Um, so maybe maybe it's a little bit too available. Maybe that's the reason why uh, it's looked down upon. Um, what Tony was talking to me about, and coincidentally enough, this is a watch I've actually looked at and considered buying and may well still consider buying because I'm going to use a term that I don't I actually don't like using particularly unless it is actually one of these things um, this particular watch is, is, is something that could be used as a beta um, 
Now, I don't like using that phrase because I do own a beater. It is an actual beater watch. It, it's a rubber strap, plastic case, quartz movement that if I'm, in the days where I was able, um, I used to put that on. You know, if it was hit by a hammer or a tree fell on it when I used to have a big garden and things, it didn't really matter. So it was a true beater to the nature of the word. Um, now, the reason that I use that word about the Raymond Violet is, is that it is... Um, it, you know, it, it's not expensive. It's a good quality watch for what you're actually getting. Um, the watch itself is, is called uh, the Freelancer. And I will put a link to the Freelancer down below. Um, they use a lot of uh, ETA movements. Um, now, I, I actually quite like uh, ETA as a movement company. Um, so many people have used their movements over the years and have, in people's eyes, improved upon them uh, and taken them as a starting point for their either their own customised movements or indeed their own um, in-house movements. They've taken the best that ETA can offer and made it better. Uh, there are a lot of people out there, obviously, as we're aware, will talk down ETA. Personally, uh, I kind of don't, but I don't subscribe to that kind of thing. Um, Raymond Val use uh, different variances of um, the 2824 and the 2893, I think. Uh, they also use, and I'm sorry for using this phrase, quartz movements, but I think they use um, good quality Swiss Ronda uh, units. Um, on all the watches that they produce, the uh, words Swiss made appear uh, either side of the six position. So obviously, as we're all aware, that can't be used unless, of course, the watches are actually uh, nailed together uh, in Switzerland. Um, now, the, the, the model number, I've written this down, it's a damn long one. Why do watch companies make their model numbers so long? Um, it's a model 7730. Uh, STC, was that Sierra Tango Charlie, uh, 2021, uh, if you want to look it up, uh, saying, and it's called the Freelancer. Now, this particular watch is a, uh, a round dial. Um, it is 42 millimeters by 13.7 millimeters. Uh, it's a chronograph. It's a black dial, absolutely beautiful. Uh, three sub dials. You've got a, um, a vertical chronograph with one off. Uh, towards the nine position. Uh, it's actually a very, very attractive face to look at. Um, and the thing that sold me on it, um, all the um, fingers are yellow, so they actually stand out massively um, from the actual watch face itself. Uh, I'm a great sucker for yellow. I love it a bit. I think it's a lovely colour. And when, when it's used in the correct um, joining with colours on a watch dial, I think it looks fantastic. Uh, have a look obviously at the um, James Bond uh, Omega, uh, uh, the Aquaterra, the, but the, uh, the one that they actually made as a, uh, as a movie watch, which is a, a blue dial with yellow hands and the 007 on the, uh, the back end of the second finger. I never buy one of those because I don't actually buy movie merchandise. But the blue and the yellow, like the black and the yellow, absolutely gorgeous. Love it to bits. Um, the Parsifal, I think, will um, be one of those watches that you can wear literally anywhere. Uh, it's a stainless steel case. It's not too thick, 13.7 mil. It's got an exhibition back showing a lovely um, guilloché work on the Dieta movement that's in there. Um, it's got the word Swiss made at the six, as I say. What it's also got, um, again, very reminiscent of um, something like a Valjoux um, 7750, it's got a day date at the three with an extended uh, date window. So obviously it shows the date of the day that you're on now, plus the date that had gone by, plus the date that is to come. Looks very, very nice. I like that a lot. I do like the, the, the extended ones. You do actually see some watches these days that have um, uh, a, an opaque material that runs over the dial where you can actually see the, the whole of the date wheel. And obviously the, the main focus, of course, is on the, the date window. Uh, and I do like that as well. Keep that up, watchmakers. Very interesting thing to do. But the extended date window on this, a double thumbs up from me. Um, <clears throat> what I want to really say to Tony is, is that as far as I'm concerned, uh, and it is only my opinion, 
it is that what you're getting with the freelancer is a watch that let, let's say for instance that you are not in a position as a lot of us are to have a um, watch collection so you're actually looking for a, a, a good watch a, a, um, which will serve you well and, and kind of if you're interested in this kind of thing people won't look down upon it I think um, because of the way it's constructed with the stainless steel um, case the black dial the yellow fingers um, because it's Swiss made because of the beautiful brown leather strap and I think it's mock croc going from memory the last time I looked at it gorgeous um, I think it's a watch that you can wear literally anywhere and it doesn't matter whether you you know you've got it with a t-shirt or a casual shirt or whether you want to wear it as a dress watch uh, when you're going out I think that it will tick all of those boxes if it's going to be your one and only watch or maybe you're one of a couple of watches I think it will serve you very very well and the prices well <clears throat> they vary a little bit but sub 1500 quid and that's got to be a good deal and I think if you're very clever and very wise on the searching on the internet you might get it closer to a thousand than the 1500 quid um, and I think that's good value in anybody's book and that, for me it is a watch that I will be looking at again I remember um, seeing it oh, a good while ago because um, one of my favourite Raymond Val watches is one of the Don Giovanni range um, which is a, um, a, a tank style watch and I don't really go much for tank styles but it's a, um, a twin time zone um, the, it's got two um, dials on the actual face as it were uh, the bottom one you can set um, to your home time and the top one you can set to another time zone and I think in there there, there are two ETA movements one actually is a 2824 and I think that's the top one and the bottom one is a 2893 the 2893 is actually skeletonized on the front so you're looking at it and the secondary time zone the 2824 is skeletonized on the back of the case uh, these came in um, a textured black dial and a textured white dial um, they're all altered from um, one crown with different positions uh, and they came on both a bracelet and a leather strap now that is a discontinued line but what I will do I will try to find a link for that Don Giovanni dual time because I think that at some point in the future that will become a classic because it's so different to lots and lots of other dual times out there yes I know there's lots of GMT's out there that you can use as a separate time zone and yes I know there's lots of watches out there that have a secondary time zone I know that but this one is very very different so I will try very hard to get a, a link of that even though that now it's an old it's an old model let me know what you think um, the freelancer is part of a, a quite a nice range of gents watches all worth looking at in my opinion um, they they basically um, have a, a musical uh, undertone a lot of the watches uh, you've got the um, Nabucco you've got the Parsifal uh, you've got the freelancer the one that we're talking about uh, you've got the Tango and the Takata um, all of which vary uh, a little bit between stainless steel with uh, a bracelet stainless steel with a strap uh, you, they're using PVD technology to uh, for all their uh, two tones now so you, your two tone gold for instance will wear exactly like gold um, they all have a lovely um, variation of um, different dial designs um, you know like obviously we're all aware of the Omega wavy line one well Raymond Vile have a wide variance of, of their different textures that they use and all of which are I think fairly unique to Raymond Vile and all, and all of them um, are worth having a look at so when you have time have a pop to um, Raymond Vile's website I will drop the link down below um, and see what you think but Tony for me um, 
I think you're on the right track. I think it's a beautiful watch. I think they're well screwed together. Uh, you have a Swiss made unit. You have a watch which is very, very reasonably priced by anybody's standards for uh, an actual Swiss made family owned. It doesn't come under the uh, Swatch umbrella like many do these days. Um, it is a young company, of course it is. But, you know, with the greatest respect, uh, Breguet, Rolex, um, Javil, you know, all those old established companies were all young at one time. So, um, I don't think you're going wrong in any stretch of the imagination here. Uh, if you want my opinion, buy it. Um, it is something that will look good on your wrist. It is something, in my view, that will never go out of fashion as the freelancer. I think it's very classic. Um, it will look good in any circumstance. From my understanding, uh, reading different things on the internet about Raymond Val, their customer service is second to none. They seem very proud uh, of their products. So I think it's worthwhile, if you can find the best deal you can, is to pull the trigger on this one, Tony. I really do. I think it's well worth the effort that you're going to put in. Anyway. That's it for this one, Raymond Vile. Um, why is it not more famous? Why is it not talked about? Uh, is it because they are so readily available in the more mainstream jewellers around Britain or around the world? Let me know your feelings. Um, is it just that people look down on ETA these days, ETA movements? Is that the reason? I don't know. But for me, they're a good brand, they are good value, and they look very very good quality uh, and I think they will stand up to scrutiny against most other brands out there so Tony buy it if you haven't done so already I think you'll be happy with it so if you do get it send me pictures you've got my email address click a photo and get it to me anyway sorry I've been away for a couple of days folks I will be back uh, I'll make content every day now that's it for this one um, lovely to see that I've got another couple of subscribers thank you very much indeed I will drop you a line uh, via Google when I find your contact details always lovely to see everybody there um, if you have any uh, comments on this video as always down below uh, any questions any queries any ideas for this kind of nonsense by all means let me know other than that thanks a lot for watching if this is your first one of watching and you think thinking oh it's quite interesting i might have a look at his other stuff by all means and if you like some of that please subscribe it's always great to see new people so that's it for now thanks a lot bye bye